Hello. Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, we are back with you and more information, more news, more information about this time at the Budapest Airport. We are talking to you live and exclusive from Metro Toronto Convention Center. And here we have uh, Mr. Rini Drosse, is it right? Yeah, almost correct. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning. And uh, welcome to Cargo News Wire TV. Uh, and here we'll define and talk to you about Budapest Airport. And I'm sure that you have got two more to come later in the afternoon, but then definitely tell us something about Budapest Airport. Uh, yeah, also from my side, uh, very much uh, welcome you here at our stand, our common booth with the sister airports. Um, yeah, Budapest Airport uh, is an airport located in Hungary. Um, Budapest Airport is uh, fully privatized since 2007, so the ownership is uh, privately owned. And um, yeah, we are running the airport, uh, and, and my, my responsibility is uh, the area property in Cargo. So since 2007, so since the beginning, I'm in charge to develop new properties, but also to develop the cargo uh, activities of Budapest Airport. Uh, we'll be talking to you in terms of uh, two or maybe three aspects of this. Uh, when we talk about development of uh, cargo, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, your, your, your designation really defines as business uh, unit property, uh, and when we say the development of uh, these uh, uh, airports, mm. uh, what are the challenges uh, normally mm. do you face when you try to upgrade and when try to promote mm. uh, the airports? Yeah. And especially when you talk in terms of Budapest, and yeah. uh, that's uh, uh, what are the challenges you are yeah. facing? There? Yeah. Um, let's say one big challenge in terms of cargo, in terms of cargo development, is certainly the area of capacity. So there's always a question, and I think this is something right now many European airports facing so having capacity or not having the sufficient capacity so meaning capacity constraints and this is something we can say in Budapest we, we don't have it's because we airport land so starting with the let's say physical capacity uh, the airport land is uh, it's almost 1600 hectares so we have two runways uh, every runway is more than 3000 meters or so 3700 the longest one uh, we have sufficient land available to develop cargo facilities and this is something we, we have started uh, in, a, in a way we have converted um, areas for for example for our um, big customers like the integrators so DHL, TNT, Federal Express and UPS yeah. all big four companies all big four integrators are flying to Budapest for many many years already yeah. uh, and in order to serve for example, the integrators, we have provided to DHL and TNT brand new facilities yeah. on airport with a very close connection to the apron, means very close connection to the aircraft, mm -hmm. which is paramount for the integrators. Yeah. They would like to have a very close connection and make sure they can fly. That's important. So this is one thing about the integrators, so capacity. So here we have plenty of space, ample of space available for the integrators. So this was one, let's say, uh, business opportunity for Budapest Airport to provide more space for the integrators. The same we're doing now for uh, food freighters. Mm -hmm. uh, it's our latest project uh, we have just started, the so-called Cargo City project. We have uh, just done the groundbreaking ceremony and in 12 months time we can celebrate the opening of Cargo City. Exactly. Meaning 20,000 square meter warehouse space available with a proper landsat asset access accommodate two cargo handling companies very close to the terminal for belly cargo but also next to the to this new handling building we are going to build uh, additional apron space for freighters so dedicated uh, freighter stands means just 100 meters exactly and this is exactly what what the freighters so our major customers what they want exactly so when we talk about expansion uh, when we talk about adding more facilities adding more infrastructure uh, to our friends in the industry as such, giving more opportunities for them to really explore and land up and increase more cargo. Uh, uh, and what is the present uh, status of cargo and what are your uh, expectations after the yeah. new airport is yeah. being lined up? Yeah. I can say in Budapest in the last 10, 11 years we had at the beginning quite difficult, uh, let's say, times because we had to um, Arrange we or let's say there was one big uh, event. It was in in February 2012. It was the bankruptcy of a national carrier, yeah. Malif. Yeah. So Malif went bankrupt, and certainly due to this bankruptcy, we had a drop in our cargo volumes. Um, 
but since um, we could develop on one hand our sales activities but on the other hand also our activities in terms of the de development new facilities and proper property development um, we could convince new airlines freighters to fly directly to Budapest on top we have certainly belly cargo here we are also benefiting for from from um, having new long-haul flights from from Budapest, from Hungary, to the US, to New York, to Chicago, to Toronto. So belly cargo capacity became also equally important for us. So we have three elements, freighters, belly cargo integrators. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of volumes, to answer now your question, yeah. in terms of volumes, um, we believe this year, 2018, we can finish with almost 150,000 tons, wow. which is an increase double digits, so almost 15% compared to last year. Mm -hmm. And it's an increase now, third time in a row, double digit. So oh, therefore, 150,000 tons, and now with the new capacity provided by the new, by the new Cargo City project, we believe we can further grow and we hope also every year double digit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking live and exclusive uh, to Mr. Rin Drosse, Director of Business Unity Property at the Budapest Airport from Toronto Convention Center here in ACF 2018. Uh, really, we have one, uh, you know, not really, uh, we have been asking a lot of our colleagues at this uh, Air Cargo Forum mm. about the technology which is very crucially uh, playing a very big part, and e-commerce, which is, again, uh, which has been, uh, you know, a, every time uh, this question is being discussed at all the uh, forums and meetings here. Uh, what is your say about at the mm. Budapest Airport? Every time when we have discussions with our customers, so with the airlines, but also with the handling companies, with the forwarders, but also with the shippers, mm -hmm. so let's say with the entire community, yeah. e-commerce is one important element as part of a discussion. Um, and e-commerce means speed. E-commerce yeah. means as fast as possible we need to transport. So therefore the airport plays also an important role in the e-commerce business. Means we need to provide proper infrastructure. Certainly the handling companies, they need to provide proper equipment, proper stuffing. So many, many things coming from their side. Airlines, they should certainly provide the um, connections. So therefore it's a it's a, it's a combined approach from all the stakeholders in order to secure e-commerce business for your destination, for your airport. Yes. So what we did, and I have explained already with the integrators, DHL, yeah. good example, they built a huge warehouse, 8,000 square meter, um, they have installed a huge sort of facility inside, so this is for me pure e-commerce, yeah. every day. Yeah. Um, what we hear from all the other customers, so the big freighters, like Average Cargo, Silkway, Cargolos, Qatar, Turkish flying to yeah. us. Um, they are also talking so much about e-commerce, so they also need fast access and really reliable service provided by the handling companies and also capacity provided by the airport. And in terms of technology, certainly with the new Cargo City project, our handling companies will ensure we have proper technology inside the facility. Uh, my last question to you, which is uh, again we talk about the future trends, uh, and how do you behave with this? What are the future trends? Future trends, I believe, air cargo becomes more and more uh, important in the entire uh, supply chain. So I do expect a growth every year. Maybe not double digit, it's clear, but maybe some four or five percent really stable growth every year. What does it mean? Growth four or five percent every year means you need to provide capacity. So therefore, from our side as landlord, our duty is to provide proper infrastructure in, in all directions, from the land side to the air side, proper facilities, proper screening, um, so all these things coming from our side. So when we conclude this by saying what Rini has said, that it is infrastructure development which is more important, providing e-commerce is also one of the main ingredients to make it air cargo more faster. And thank you very much for your time and we make sure that Budapest Airport, when it comes to the new airport coming up in 2019, uh, it will be getting more loads and more factors. Thank you very much. Thank you much. Pleasure Thank for you. me. Thank Pleasure. you very much. Thank you.